Hello and welcome to Season 3 of the Dungeon Build Along Project. If you're new here, then back in Season 1 I provided all of the paper printouts needed to make the first level of a simple dungeon. Um, that's this one that you can see here. Then in Season 2 I did the same thing again with a similar series of tutorials to make, well, the second level. So, not surprisingly, this January I'll be continuing that tradition and I'll be using these printouts shown here on the screen to make level 3. So, if you've not seen the first two seasons, then it's probably a good idea to watch those first, as I will be referring back to some of the techniques found in those, um, just to save repeating myself more than I already do. For example, in this one, we're going to need a few more dungeon tiles. So, like we've done previously, we'll glue the main floor texture to some double corrugated card or similar. We'll then cut them to the sizes that you can see here, and add the walls to these sides, in the usual fashion, so that we end up with four more dungeon tiles, and uh, that's these four that you can see me laying out on the table right now. We're also going to make three more wooden doors to go along with the one that we made back in Season 1. So, there's that one, and the other two. And, while we're at it, we'll also make another small drain as well, in the exact same way. And now that that's all out of the way, we can finally start on something new. Okay then, so, at the end of the last level, there was a secret stairway that spiralled down to level 3. You know, down to this level. And uh, as such, that's what we're going to make first. The bottom of those stairs. So, the first thing we're going to do is glue the three step textures to some thick, or corrugated card. And to do that, we'll just use a regular glue stick. And we'll give those a few minutes to fully dry. So, to speed things up, here's one that's already dry. And what I like to do is first cut the two straight edges to size, uh, just using a metal ruler and a sharp knife. And, uh, and then making sure that I've got a brand new blade, I'll start to cut out the two curved sides. And when doing this, you just need to take your time and not try to hack your way through in one go. Uh, for example, my first cut, it isn't really doing much more than cutting through the exterior covering of the corrugated card. And as you can see, I'll eventually make three or four passes with the knife before I'm all the way through. But, uh, yeah, you can see the kind of thing that I mean. And when that's done, we should end up with a piece that looks something like this. We can then do the same thing with the other two steps, like so. Then, it's just a matter of gluing the steps one on top of the other, like you can see me doing here. And, obviously, we want to try and align the sides as best as we can, and also make sure that the back edge of all three pieces, uh, that's the edge that will be the back of the topmost step. Um, we want to make sure that's flush as well. And with any luck, this is the kind of thing that we should be left with. So, uh, yeah, that's the steps themselves done. Right then, next we're going to take these wall patterns and glue those to some double corrugated card, or foam core if you prefer. Then, just like with the steps, we can cut all of the straight edges of the smaller piece to size, as you can see, and, uh, and then, like before, we can use a knife with a brand new blade to, uh, to start cutting away the curved edge. So, again, just take your time with this part. Um, it will take a couple of minutes, and maybe half a dozen passes. Um, if you're interested, it took me nearly three minutes to cut the whole thing out. And, uh, and don't worry if it's not super neat. Then, when we're done, we should be left with this kind of thing. And we will, of course, need to do the same thing with the other wall section as well. Now, for the final piece, we'll just need to glue this floor pattern to some more corrugated card, and, again, cut all of the straight edges to size, but this time we're going to leave the curved edge intact, and um, we'll come back to that later. So, something like that. Then, if I bring in all of the other pieces that we've just made, we can start gluing them all together. And the way I like to do this is to apply plenty of glue to the back of each piece, and then just kind of rest them roughly into place, um, in the positions that you can see here on the screen. Then I kind of push them together to get rid of any gaps and just to align things a bit better. And I'm also trying to make sure that the walls on either side of the two inch wide exit at the bottom of the stairs, um, I want those to be flush with the edge of the floor tile itself, for obvious reasons. Anyway, once they've all been glued down properly and had plenty of time to dry, we can cut away the rest of the floor tile by using the back edge of the wall as a guide. And I suppose I should probably add that, whenever you are using a sharp knife, uh, please do try to be careful. 
And when we're done, this is what we should be left with. So that's the bottom of the spiral stairs that leads back up to level two. So if I just quickly switch over to a picture that shows how we're going to set up this level starting area, then all of the tiles shown here in red are the new ones that we've made especially for this level. And the ones shown here in blue, they're the tiles that we're reusing from the previous levels. And if I add in all of the doors and the drains, then you can see that we're also going to reuse the wooden door as well as the drain and one of the metal doors from season one and two as well. So yeah, that's it for this, the first episode of season three. Um, like the previous levels, I am going to try and get a new video out each and every week this month so that by the end of January, we, we have another level of the dungeon complete, uh, you know, including a few encounters to accompany each of the rooms. So thanks for watching as always. Um, do let me know if you're going to have a go at building this along with me. Um, you could even share progress pictures over on the Discord or the Facebook group if you like. Um, that would be good to see. And, uh, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.